In this video, I wanted to take this opportunity to clarify some of the myths and fear in the mind of piping design engineers. Because as long as you have fear in your mind, you cannot focus on your growth. Because fear is the only thing that stops your growth from taking a right action on right time. Unless you don't take action on right time, then you cannot imagine about your growth, right? So that's one of the reason I wanted to make this video to clarify your doubts so that you can focus on your growth. I just have listed out some of the questions from my comment section so that um, I will be able to answer the, the widely uh, spoken and widely asked questions in my channel so that that will clarify your mind. So let's start from the first one. Oil and gas has no future. So what is the role of piping design? So I know that these are the thoughts that comes from the bad news from the oil and gas. When there is a price fluctuation in the oil and gas, suddenly people start thinking about there is no future for piping. That's not true. Piping design is not only dependent on oil and gas. It also dependent on various other fields because it is the essential part of all process plants in the world. Just for an example, take an example of petrochemical sectors. Can you imagine that you can run your life without petrochemical products? Just take an example of your smartphone. It's a product of plastic. It's a product of byproducts of petrochemical, product of crude and product of gas actually. So without these byproducts, you cannot even run your daily life. So how can we say that there is no opportunity for oil and gas in future? Piping field is not directly connected to oil and fire. Even there is a price fluctuation, there will be more production. See, when there is a price goes down, there will be more demand. That's when the India and China and countries like high consumption countries have doubled because the price are less. So it doesn't mean that since the price is less, there is no scope. When the price goes down, the people start producing more and people start building more plants because that's where they can sell more actually. See, industry will always find another opportunity to enhance their business. So as long as you have these process plants across the world, and for example, I'll tell you that petrochemical sector is one of the major field and power unit and pharmaceutical, FMCGs, all these sectors has process plants and all these plants have piping. Unless you have this process plans, you cannot see an end for oil and gas and you cannot see an end for piping design. That's what I can tell you. So don't fear that because if you keep on fearing and keep on denying that this fact is um, uh, wrong, then you will not take right action. Start learning, start growing and you can make a good future in piping. Let me go to the second point. Do I have future in piping? I know this comes from the opportunities uh, side of uh, thoughts actually because when there is a low opportunity people start thinking about whether they'll be able to survive or not for them let me give you some advices try to choose companies which are doing a businesses such as diversified businesses there are companies that does for oil and gas and petrochemicals and power sectors and fmgs so if you choose such companies you will have projects for throughout the year but if you choose companies which are exclusively dependent on one particular sector definitely there will be ups and downs in all the businesses can you name one business that does not have an ups and downs? Even automobile sector has ups and downs, right? The change of technology, the change of demand, change of systems. So it, it is going to drive. That is how the business drives actually. So the best possible way is that to survive for a longer period of time, try to choose a company which are uh, doing the diversified businesses in various sectors. So you will be able to ensure your job. See, you, we are trying to ensure our job. But if you ask about the businesses or industry, this is going to survive for a longer period of time actually. But it's important for you to choose the right platform and right company so that you can survive. It's not the question about whether the industry survives. It's a question about whether you have job or not, right? So try to use the diversified uh, company's um, profile so that you'll be able to survive for a longer period of time. And the third question is that, how long can I survive in piping? Can you just give me the time frame like 10 years, 24 years and 15 years? This relates to my first question. As long as we have the petrochemical sector and you cannot see an end for piping. According to me, there is no end for these particular industries because these are the hardcore industries. See, you cannot imagine a country without power plant. You cannot imagine a country without chemical plants. You cannot imagine a country without uh, refineries and petrochemicals. As long as you have these opportunities, then you will definitely have scope for piping. 
that's one of the reason why the lot of people are producing um, there are new new plants are coming what is the reason for building a new plants because they understood there is a requirement chemical industries is going to be the the big future for them uh, in the coming time because there will be a lot of refined chemicals and these chemicals may be used for different purposes actually so these uh, chemical uh, plants also needs piping so i don't see an end for piping design uh, practically we have to always um, uh, relate to the facts actually if you assume uh, the from your imagination then you will not be able to get the right facts you also have to understand the facts now let's go to the fourth point actually when to quit piping design don't quit piping design because piping design has uh, will have an eternal future this is the only field i can strongly say, uh, say that it has not changed much because this is a solid mechanical engineering field if you look at the it sector it keep on changing dynamic actually the requirements before 6 months are completely different than now you have to up, uh, update yourself actually people those who are above 40 are really struggling in the it field but if you take piping design the people who have experience in piping design are more respectable are more has more high demand actually so piping design is the only field and there are some software changes software is just a tool it may change but the design will not change this is a hardcore solid mechanical engineering field that will never change for another 100 years because this is the basic requirements actually these are strong fundamentals these fundamentals will never change so i don't see that you have, there is a requirement for you to quit piping design but there is a requirement for you to jump from one company to other company if the company is not going to pay you if you don't see a growth in one particular company go to another company where you can see a, a growth just because that you wanted to stay in one company and complaining about the piping that's not uh, the reality right if you don't find a growth go to a company enhance your knowledge and where you can take more responsibilities and you can get more uh, salary that's where you can lead uh, your life in a better way now let's go to the fifth one the fifth one is how much salary you can make in piping so there is something known as risk reward ratio the person who takes more risk gets more the person who takes less uh, risk gets less basically so if you wanted to stay within your own country own state then your salary will be lesser but if you wanted to learn more and explore more and get more certification go to other countries foreign countries taking more responsibilities you will get more salary that's it it's not about just being in the same field and somebody will come and pay you a lot and lot more money you have to take risk risk in the sense you have to learn more and you have to uh, try to understand the higher roles and uh, try to support the companies and uh, uh, even before paying them you have to ensure that you are suitable for that particular role then you can confidently speak to your, um, uh, your uh, uh, company that you can handle this position so that you can, they can pay more if they don't pay more you have an opportunity outside also so it's all about your your risk and reward if you are a candidate who who is going to stay uh, in the same position without learning anything without enhancing your knowledge you will not able to increase your salary so how much salary that's the question right the salary i can say for 10 years experienced can get nearly around in india i'm saying nearly around 20 to 25 lakhs per annum and for if you are uh, interested to uh, travel abroad you will be able to make more than i mean double than what you are going to get in india so that's the rough figure of it actually and there are people going to african countries and other countries or making nearly around 8 to 10 lakhs per annum so if you take risk then you will be able to get more rewards and if you don't take risk by enhancing your knowledge by going to in other countries and uh, by uh, taking higher roles and responsibilities then you will not be able to increase your salary that's it so i hope that these five doubts would have clarified at least some of the fear from your mind so don't panic this field is going to survive for a longer period of time this is the only field that i could see that it has an eternal opportunity so i will meet you in another fantastic video under then bye from subhash chandran thank you so much